Hey, speaking now to a first-time player here for Team USA, Danny Granger, the Indianapolis Pacers, uh -huh. and you are you have to be very proud and uh, of the fact that you are here in this camp. This is a very huge uh, event that we're planning for in the World Championships. Yeah, it is. You know, we're really going after the gold medal this uh, this summer, and uh, it's a huge honor to be here. You know, among all the players selected to play, so. Uh, we, I think we're all just trying to make the best of our opportunity and, and play our hardest. Your name has surfaced time and time again, but now to actually be in the mix, right, so they right. say, right here, right now in this moment, your thoughts on your preparations and the camp so far? Um, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm happy to be here. The camp's been going well. You're right, I'm actually here this time and, um, you know, playing well. And uh, we know we're just trying to get accustomed to the new system mm -hmm. that uh, Coach K has, has put in for, the, you know, USA basketball. And taking a look at the entire uh, group of players that are here in a non-adversarial position, so to speak. They're not your, your opponents, right. so to speak. They're actually your teammates. Yeah. So Coach Josefsky is trying to put that chemistry together just like he did for last year's team uh, when the team went to the Olympics. Yeah, you know, I think that's what's great about it. We all come from different teams, you know, and uh, now that we're all here uh, for one common goal, one common cause, um, you really feel the, the camaraderie and the brotherhood that's being built. So um, it's a great experience. On the sit-down um, uh, conversation you have with Mr. Colangelo and Coach K and the training and the coaching staff, any particular role, Danny, that they've given you, they've asked you to step into? Um, not yet. You know, I think we're still just putting in the offensive systems and whatnot, um, and, and they're trying to really analyze the strengths of each player. You know, uh, you know, you have some scores, you have some good shot blockers, some rebounders, and you're trying, they're trying to put that all into one mix. So uh, not yet, but I'm sure we'll know soon enough. And Danny, going back to your home team, the Pacers, um, things are looking very good yeah. this coming season. Yeah, we're looking good this season. We drafted three very promising rookies, and uh, that should help us. And uh, we're probably going to make some moves in free agency, but overall, it's, it's looking good in Indiana. Okay. Our, our fans and our viewers from EastLASportsScene.com, they're worldwide, but centrally in Los Angeles for East LA. A lot of our players know the NBA right. in and out. As you know, all youngsters, right. they know a player. Right. And there's somebody out in East LA that has got a, a, a look at you and uh -huh. say, hey, I like Danny Granger's that's, game. That's awesome. So we want you to uh, tell, tell, tell our viewers, tell our kids, what does it take to really get to the level that you're at? Um determination you know you, you really gotta you know keep striving to for your goal mm -hmm. I mean you're gonna be knocked back a lot of times you'll have some adversity but I think for those who uh, who persevere you know success is uh, in sight okay, and that's for the love of the game the, the sacrifice of the game and the passion for the game you roll it all into one and you come out being a very good player and a good person that's correct you have to you have to love the game you know you love the game the game will love you you know that's what I always say so uh, when you play with that passion and, uh, and that, that respect for the game of basketball, you'll always be successful. Danny, one last question. Uh, in your off time or even during the season, you give to the community. Mm -hmm. uh, you're in the NBA program. You right. go out to different uh, homeless shelters, maybe schools, right. uh, disadvantaged locations around the NBA. But what's going on in Indianapolis? Is there something special that you do there for the community? Um, I do do a lot in Indianapolis, you know, and I, I do even probably a lot also in New Mexico where I went to school at. Um, you know, as far as giving back, you know, uh, helping youth programs, uh, I'm, I'm really big into kids and uh, helping kids as much as possible has always been a, a big goal of mine. So uh, I get a lot of joy out of that. Okay. And we're going to get a lot of joy out of seeing you no compete for this team Thank here. You very okay. much. Danny